What's up, all my Jaguars out there, and welcome to another epic episode of Ralph's Universe, The Reboot. But that's pretty much obvious, don't you think? Let's do it. Alright Jaguars, in this episode of the reboot I will be discussing what almost the whole world is talking about. Mimi Foss's sex tape that she made with her boyfriend Nico Smith. A lot of you probably know who Mimi and Nico are because not only have you heard about me talking about them whenever I cover the VH1 reality TV show that they star in Love and Hip Hop Atlanta but also you probably watch the show a lot yourselves now I don't know Mimi or Nico personally I just go by what I see on the show like everyone else does Mimi is a very classy businesswoman with a very good and dignified image while being very sexy and hot at the same time. <clears throat> and as you all may know, she is very involved with the very popular and very controversial, infamous, self-proclaimed, quote-unquote, good guy, a.k.a. music producer and manager, Stephen Jordan, a.k.a. Stevie J. Whenever you Google Mimi Foss, on the internet, Stevie J's name will pop up as well. Now Mimi is very involved with Stevie J only because Stevie is the father of Mimi's daughter. So they're just co-parenting while Mimi and Nico are dating. Stevie J is married to Jocelyn right now. They got married after the ending of season 2 of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. The third season has already begun, Aaron, and yes, I am watching the show. <clears throat> As I film this right now, another report popped up on Google saying that Stevie J is in some trouble. He may have gotten arrested in Crawford County for illegal drug trafficking. No one knows if that's true or not, but more on that later. Right now, I want to talk about this. Like I said before, I watched the first two seasons of Love and Hip Hop in the A, like the rest of the hip hop world, and I got the impression that Mimi Faust is not very, is not a very sexual woman. She's not nasty, she's not slutty, and she, and she's most definitely not into the sex stuff that most of the people on the show are into sexually. Mimi is very private. Let me put it like this way so you'll all get the idea of the point that I'm trying to make. Jocelyn, please don't take this the wrong way because I'm a fan of yours too. But Mimi Faust is the exact opposite of Jocelyn Hernandez. So Mimi is the last, last person that I would expect to make a sex tape with anyone. Now Nico, I'm not surprised at all. This is something I would expect from him. But Mimi, Weeks ago, when I heard that Mimi made a sex tape with Nico, I was really shocked. And I do mean shell shocked. I was really shaken. My hands were really shaken while I was holding my phone and looking at the shocking news on Google and YouTube. And the news was all, was all over YouTube and still is. And everyone begun making videos talking about and judging what 
Mimi did and still is. If you type Mimi Foss in a search section of YouTube, the stuff about her sex tape is going to pop up. OMG, that's how big this news is. I'm still shell-shocked about this. Mimi, Mimi, Mimi Faust. She actually made a sex tape with Nico, and it's almost everywhere. Everywhere. Oh hell, it probably is everywhere by now. And Stevie J and Jocelyn are already taking jabs at Mimi and Nico for the sex tape that they made. But it looks like Mimi may be taking a lot more of the brunt than Nico is, mainly because of the the way that you know Mimi was portrayed in the first two seasons of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Everyone looked at her as a non-sexual, private, classy businesswoman that was not into all this sex stuff like Jocelyn and Stevie Jr. But then BOOM! BOOM! Mimi's sex tape is leaked and exposed for the whole world to see. And not just me, but everyone is shell-shocked. I have to say that I'm really disappointed in Stevie J. Now Jocelyn I can understand her saying bad stuff about Mimi and taking verbal jabs at Mimi because of this. Jocelyn and Mimi have been beefing since day one. And of course, K. Michelle is making some comments and jokes over this shell shocking news. But I really expected more from Stevie J. For a guy who constantly refers to himself as the good guy, he sure doesn't act like it sometimes. I've seen Stevie J do nice things for people on the show, and that does show that he's a real good person. But but then there are times when he reverts to the quote unquote sleazo as Benzino calls him. Stevie J himself has made a sex tape with Eve, a sex tape with this girl, a sex tape with that girl a few sex tapes with Jocelyn and God knows how many other sex tapes that Stevie J has made with other girls. So when Mimi's sex tape was leaked and exposed to the world I really didn't expect Stevie J to come at Mimi like that. Way I see it, Stevie J should have been more supportive even though he doesn't like what Mimi did. He disapproves, I understand. But then Stevie J could have just ignored it and not worry about it. Not throw it up in Mimi's face and threaten to try and take their daughter away from Mimi. That's not how you handle the situation. Here's the thing. 1. Because of what I just mentioned about Stevie J's twisted hobbies, he's in no place to judge anyone. You know the old saying. Let he who hasn't sinned cast the first stone. And with that being said, with all those skeletons in, in his closet, Stevie J really needs to drop the stone and walk away. 2. If Stevie J really presses on about this and this turns into a battle for Mimi and Stevie's daughter, and it ends up in a courtroom, it's really going to get messy. And I have a strong feeling that no one is going to like the end result of this. Mimi made mistakes in her past, and so did Stevie J. I really suggest that they keep it out of the courtroom. Way I see it, there's really no need to go there. Since this sex tape of Mimi and Nico was exposed to the world to see. It has been the topic and talk of the internet world. How, how was it leaked and exposed? That's the strange part. After the sex tape was made by Mimi and Nico, Nico put it in his bag and his bag was stolen while they were at an airport. Then suddenly, media takeout just coincidentally 
ended up with a copy of Mimi and Nico's sex tape right after it was stolen. I don't know about the rest of you, but I really feel like there's something really fishy about this. Media Takeout is the number one blog site of the world, from what I understand. This site is supposed to report on the latest news of celebrities, but Media Takeout is also known for making wild and outrageous news and reports about Mimi Faust, of all people. And in a number of interviews, Mimi has blasted Media Takeout a lot by saying that everything that Media Takeout says is a lie. Now, I don't want to make any wild accusations, but I just look at it like this. Nico's bag that contains the sex tape gets stolen. Then suddenly, Media Takeout is the first one that ends up with the sex tape and they expose it to the world. And prior to all this, Mimi has criticized Media Takeout in a number of live interviews. That's a real big coincidence, Jaguars. That's a real big coincidence. Also real funny how that all works worked out. And speaking of things working out, the sex tape of Mimi and Nico is really sexually hardcore and graphic. This shows a side of Mimi that you've never seen before. I'm telling you, you've never seen Mimi like this. No one has. You won't believe what Mimi does with Nico in this. And the shower rod? OMG. Mimi has really put that shower rod to good use and created new uses for it. In fact, it's now called the Mimi Rod or the Mimi Shower Rod. <laughs> oh boy. Even as stores like Home Depot have renamed their shower rods to the Mimi Rod and people are actually buying it. When they walk into Home Depot, they don't ask for the shower rod, they ask for the Mimi rod. OMG. Are you actually SHIT me on this? Mimi made that shower rod so popular and famous, they are now calling it the Mimi shower rod. They're naming it after her. Wow. Well, all I can say is. Welcome to my universe, people. Yeah, it's very strange, odd, dirty, and twisted. Almost anything can get turned into a fad, huh? All it takes is a celebrity using it or and or doing something to it in a sex tape, and people go nuts over it. All this hype and craziness over Mimi's sex tape will die down soon eventually but not just yet peace out till the next episode